Hi everyone, welcome to the Movie World. I'm Robert Wolven. Today I've got a great movie from 1993 that I wanted to tell you about. The movie is called In the Line of Fire, starring Clint Eastwood as Secret Service agent Frank Horrigan. Now, not a Secret Service agent like James Bond, but this fellow is in charge of protecting the United States. Unfortunately, back in the day, back in 1963, I guess, he was involved as the unlikely and unlucky agent to be protecting John F. Kennedy on that fateful day in Dallas. Now, wouldn't you know, we're like 20 years later, and now this agent is now 60-something. He's sort of over the hill, but he's called back into action because there's another crazy maniac on the loose who turns out to be named Leary, before that called Booth, who somehow has attacking and killing the current president of the United States in his sights. John Malkovich, a wonderful actor, is tremendous as this smart thinking assassin, but manages to somehow try to get under the skin of Secret Service agent Horrigan. So you've got sort of like a cat and mouse game that's occurring. The movie also features Rene Russo, wonderful actress, as another federal agent, a Secret Service agent, who may or may not be involved in a nice relationship, possibly romantic, with Clint Eastwood's character. The movie has a great cast, and it's full of suspense. The action never lets up, and it's really a thinking, psychological thriller of two people at the top of their age and at the top of their game trying to, one, save the president, the other, destroy the president. Wonderful motion picture directed by ace action dramatic director Wolfgang Peterson, who gave us a year or two later a great movie with Harrison Ford called Air Force One. On a scale of 1 to 10, I gotta give In the Line of Fire a solid 8. If you like action movies, if you like thrillers, if you like roller coaster thrills, you're going to thoroughly enjoy this movie. I guarantee it. Robert Waldman for Movie World. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again.